Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In this one, we'll have a look at the new features of the Fallout 3 SP1 version of the PA Launchpad. But we'll also take time to check out the enhancement brought to existing features. So let's jump right in. First, let's have a look at how to customize the homepage. The first thing you'll notice is that to ease the navigation and increase efficiency, the user settings option has moved to the top right hand corner of the BI launchpad. So, when in your BI homepage and in the user settings, you can access your preferences, edit the homepage, get information about the application, access the help, and log out. In addition, through the user settings, you can now use the edit homepage option to rearrange the tiles based on your usage and priority and use the Edit Favorites option to edit the favorite files and objects under View All Favorites. Moving on to File Management, you can now drag and drop or move files to a folder within a folder and move a file from one folder to a subfolder of another folder. While moving a file outside a folder, you can see that the parent folder auto expands to show the subfolders that it contains. If you want to further personalize your BI launchpad, you can do so with the four new quartz themes Light, Dark, HCB, and HCW have been added to the existing SAP Fury themes. You can use the rich text editor to format messages as you want to. The new calendar icon in the schedule instances page helps you check the schedule information for the day, work week and week along with the instant status and time taken to run the schedule. You can now also define database credentials as part of credential mapping in the BI Launchpad. In addition to using the context menu, you can now simply right-click a report or document to view the drop-down menu. And the best part is, the right-click options are report-specific if you select a single report or a document. If you select multiple reports or documents of the same type, the options are still content-specific. And these right-click options are customized if the reports or documents are of different content types. And there you have it. For a complete list of the new features, check out the links below in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.